Hello, now I've not done one of these in ages, but I'm going to do a quick little lighter review on this lighter, which is one of those annoying ones where it looks really cool and it seems to have good features, but it's kind of got a design flaw that makes it almost useless. So this apparently is a job on, which is probably just a very generic sort of name, sort of gas lighter. And down there you've got your sort of regular butane insert sort of bit there and an adjuster, although you kind of can adjust the flame elsewhere as well, so that's a bit pointless, but... You've got your adjuster there, so it looks all pretty cool and everything. Um, I do like the design of it, the look of it and everything. I think they did these in a few different colours. I went for the sort of weird sort of purpley chrome one. Now, it's a triple sort of flame jet lighter. Now, here's where it's interesting, the ignition system. Obviously, it's a, you've got a um, sort of striker spark wheel type thing to um, light that. That's pretty standard. It's What's interesting is the gas release system. So on most lighters, you hold down the button and you strike it, and that's how it lights. This has a system where it's off in this position, you turn it to the flame position to light it. There we go. And then it, you don't have to hold anything down, the lighter keeps going. And you can ease the flame down a little bit by doing that, and then it turns off. So the gas adjustment at the bottom is to adjust the flame size, you know, more precisely, I guess, than doing this. But here's the massive problem with this lighter. Let's say you have a it in your pocket and you knock this bit a bit. Although it will shut off to a certain degree if it's in a certain position, what will happen, of course, is, as you can probably hear, it's leaking fuel. So basically, the main problem with this lighter is there seems to be no way of locking this to not go off, you know, the little catch or something. Because as good as the design might seem in one regard, you know, that you can just do that and you've got a hands-free lighter, no buttons to hold down, the problem is you knock this in your pocket, you lose all your fuel. So um, I've had a couple of times where I've filled this up, it's been knocked over, you know, knocked against something and all the fuel's come out because this system is not very good as a locking system. So there we go, it's a cool looking lighter. You might find some practical uses for it, but sadly, a tad over-engineered when it comes to the, um, you know, gas release system, because again, very easy just to knock that in your pocket. Because again, you don't need to keep a button depressed, you just simply knock it like that and the gas escapes till it's all gone. So there we go, this sort of job on jet lighter. Mm. Looks cool. I quite like the hands-free sort of feature of when the flame's going, but, you know, it'd be nice if they'd put a little lock there that didn't make this whole thing totally useless. Because I guarantee you, if you've got this in your pocket, you'll probably knock the dial. And then, hopefully you won't manage to set your pocket on fire, but you will probably manage to waste all the butane in it. And if you're using proper jet butane, uh, that's not very cheap.